Hi guys, it's Leanne from Maxi Cozy here and you have clicked to receive a demonstration from me on the Zelia 2, the Tinker and the Tinker Base. So I'm going to talk you through all of the features and why this should be something that's considered for you and your family. So, as you might have noticed as you've clicked through the virtual baby show, I hope you're having a fantastic day by the way, um, a lot of the travel systems have separate components with a separate carry cot and pushchair seat unit. Whilst this is fantastic and it has a lot of features that will benefit you. Um, a lot of families that I speak to tend to not have this sort of storage space or equally if they do have it they don't want it to be used up with loads of different components of their travel system. Obviously the carry cot we use it from birth to six months but then after that what do we do with it? We put it away into storage for either next baby or you know we never use it again. So if that is something that is not an option for you guys the Zelia 2 will be right up your street. So as you can see here it's set up in carry cot mode. So it's a soft carry cot. So as you can see, it's not one that we can stand on the floor like some of the others um, in our range, but it does have its benefits. So we use this from birth to six months. Then when your baby tries to start sitting up unaided, we can simply click a few buttons together and we can transform it into a seat unit in a few simple steps. So some of the features that you can see here when we're using it in carry cot mode, we have this lovely liner that comes with it that you can just pop on and off using some buttons here. You have your bumper bar that's easy removable as well. Now, this is something that you might not have even considered as a feature, but please just put yourself in the position that baby is now here and they're kicking up a bit of a stink on this particular day for whatever reason. The last thing you want to be doing is fighting with them in public because they don't want to get into their carry cot. So just a really nice one to remember um, as part of your purchase. Now you have your generous hood here as well. One of my favourite features as part of this carry cot slash seat unit is the fact that you can actually extend the canopy here for when we do get those two days of sunshine throughout the, uh, the whole year. When you do want to have that sort of option for more sort of face-to-face -face engagement and bonding with baby, you can actually just tuck it away like so and it opens up all of that space for you. As always, you can take the hood back really easily or you can pop it up when they're having a snooze as well. So those are some of the features on the carry cot. Now what I'm going to do is show you how you would transform it into a push chair. Um, this is a two in one. So you've got two grey tabs here on the side. We simply pull them up and we can remove the carry cot from the chassis. Now if I just wheel this out of the way so that I can show you as best I can on camera. Basically, all we're doing to turn it into a seat unit is we are clicking these two here together. And then if you just watch closely, if I push that in, you can actually see it turning into a ridge. And that's where your little one's feet will now go as they're sitting up when they're not so little anymore. So we click those together and voila, we now have a seat unit. Now, this can be used on the chassis, both parent facing and world facing. So what we can do, is click it on like this, use the recline tab here on the back and sit them up. And just like that, we have now baby sat upright and that face-to-face -face bonding. Now on the days where you're probably not the best of mates and they're kicking off or they just want to engage a little bit more with the world around them as they're getting that little bit older, we use the two same grey tabs, take it off, flip it round and we can have it world facing as well just like that as i said before this now means that we don't have to disregard the carry cot and find somewhere to store it whilst we're using the push chair another point to mention is when you are using it like this we have a peekaboo window so although we're not engaging face to face anymore we can still keep an eye on what they're doing when they're sitting in the seat unit so that's it in terms of carry cot and seat unit fantastically easy to switch between the two a couple of features about the chassis itself, we have a button here and that will actually adjust the handle height. So it doesn't matter whether it's mum, dad, grandma, granddad, we can adjust it like so. We also have the wheels that we can remove really easily. So we have a grey button on the back just under here. So if you've gone for a walk in a particularly muddy place and you don't want to bring all that mud into the boot of your car, Take them off, a little tip, get some shower caps and bring them with you, put the wheels in there and we can just keep it away from the fabric so they stay nice and new. 
Now the wheels on the front, you can see here they are swiveling as I manoeuvre. Now if we find on a particular day we're walking over cobbles or somewhere where the pushchair is trying to run away from you because the wheels are on swivel, we have a button on the back that we can click and it will lock the wheels into place like so. Again, mega easy. What you'll find with our pushchairs is everything that has sort of a grey button will offer some sort of um, different option for you so that you can change as you need it to. So if we click that back off, what I will do now is remove the seat unit for you so that you can see the huge shopping basket that we have to offer. So you can see it here. We're really not short for space when we're going out shopping with little one in the pushchair. But we also have a fantastic feature, which is a little secret pocket just here. So we can put valuables in there, like phones, keys, anything that you need easy access to. Equally, I think uh, one of my favourite uses for that would probably be hiding my snacks from a little one as well. But, you know, each to their own. So to fold the pushchair up, I would always recommend popping the brake on first. So that would be that grey tab here. So we simply pop it down and the brake is now on. Now these two grey triggers here, we lift them up and the handle will go all the way over like so. Then we lift this black bar up and it will bring the rest of the chassis towards you and it will click into place just here. Nice and lightweight. Again, you're not going to struggle to store that because of how flat it will actually fold. To unfold, we just pull that out, it releases it, take it over like so. So hopefully you can agree that those features so far really make for an easy to use travel system. Now, as part of your package with this, you will receive um, a rain cover and the car seat adapters as well. So here are some I made earlier. Now a little, um, a little feature that not everybody knows about, it actually has an R and an L written on the inside of the adapters. So if you're looking at the push chair, it will just let you know which one to put in which socket as well. So that's how we do that. Now, part of this bundle is obviously the Tinker and the Tinker Base. So just to talk you through the Tinker and what that offers, this is an infant carrier that we use in the vehicle um, and we can use it with the base that comes as part of the bundle as well. The Tinker is very, very new to our range of car seats. It's eye size, um, so that means it's had all of the usual testing um, that we have to do, but it's also had side impact testing and rollover testing as well. So this car seat's only used rearward facing and it will take your baby from newborn, the moment they arrive with you, until about 12 months old. Now, we have a couple of features just want to mention as part of this bundle as well. You've got your sun canopy that comes so you can use it separate from the handle, so that's what I mean to say. And then you've got two buttons here that will take the handle back or all the way back so that you can have it rocking on the floor or have it standing stationary on the floor as well. Now, as always, you've got your buttons on the inside here so that you can remove it from the chassis, which I'll show you how to do in a second. And you've got your harness as well. Now, um, we are doing some separate videos on car seats, so if you do want to know a little bit more in depth um, where you can see the inside of the car seat and everything it has to offer, then please just keep a look out for those as well. So, to release, there's a button under here. So what we do, push it down, pull it towards you, and that will release the car seat from the base, like so. So, you do have the option of strapping this into the vehicle, just using the vehicle seat belt. Whilst it's part of the bundle, I just want to put it sort of into perspective for you, how much easier this will make your life. Obviously, I'm in a nice, dry studio today. In a real life setting, the chances are it's probably going to be raining. I'm in a tight car parking space. Baby might be upset, crying, needing a feed, and somebody is sat impatiently waiting for your car parking space. How much easier is an isofix space going to make your life than having to seatbelt it in every time? Having an isofix space will also massively, massively reduce the risk of misuse with the products as well. So now that I've removed that from the car, it's as simple as clicking it on and we're good to go. So what I would recommend is if we're going out for quite a while, we would use the seat unit but in carry cot mode where we started. Equally, if you're nipping out to the shops and you need something convenient, baby's already fallen asleep in the car, how, how easy is it that you can just unclick it from the base and pop it on the chassis like so? 
Now, the installation of an isofix base will always be with two arms that secure itself into the vehicle chassis and a leg like so. So we do have arms on here so we can remove it. And there's a button on the back of the leg as well that must meet the floor in the vehicle. So hopefully I've won you over with all of this demonstration talk here. Now I just want to talk pricing with you now. So today for the show, you get the Zelia 2, the Tinker and the Tinker Base for only 429. Yeah, you heard me right, 429. So you're making a saving of over 100 pounds there. And this will be everything that you need to travel safely in the vehicle and take baby out with you in the pushchair as well. So that's it from me. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much.